Hello there, dear friends, and welcome once again to the Relaxed Fantasy Review. On this channel, we spend our time looking at fantasy of all sorts, from books to movies to video games, and applying the characters within into the tabletop game Dungeons & Dragons 5th Edition. Today, though, we're going to be looking at a core mechanic of D&D itself, one of the most powerful subclasses in all of D&D, the Circle of the Moon Druid. Now, we all know druids have the wild shape power, allowing them to transform into animals, but the Moon Druid takes this power and turns it into potentially one of the most impressive things in the whole game. Let's look at the specifics of this. The very first thing they get is what's known as Combat Wild Shape at level 2. This allows them to transform into their wild shape as a bonus action instead of an action, which means that they don't have to waste their action on the first turn of combat or preemptively transform. They can just do it as a bonus action and then run straight in. It also allows them another use for their spell slots. One of the things about wild shaping is that when you are wild shaped, you can't cast spells until you're a much higher level druid. This one allows you to use your spell slots to heal yourself while you're in wild shape form. It isn't quite like using your spells, but it certainly gives you another resource to self-heal. And who doesn't want to self-heal? This altogether adds up to a 9 out of 10 ability right from the get-go. But then it gets even better. Also at level 2, they get their circle forms power. This is where things get broken. The Circle Forms allows them to transform into beasts that are much more powerful than normal druids. Normal druids can transform into beasts that are one quarter CR at level 2, one half CR at level 4, and one and uh, one CR1 at level 8. Circle druids don't play like that. At level 2, they can transform straight into CR1 creatures including things like the brown bears and the dire wolves. Very, very strong beasts to be transformed into at level 2. And then, at level 6 and upwards, it, this ability makes it so that the CR rating you can transform into is one-third of your druid level. So at level 6, that's CR 2. At level 9, that's CR 3, and so on all the way up to CR6 at level 18. This means that at higher levels, Circle of the Moon Druids are transforming into giant mammoths, killer whales, and reef sharks. They're transforming into basically almost any animal in the game. There's like one or two animals that are CR7 and 8 that they'll never reach. But the sheer power of these forms gives them hundreds of hit points at the higher levels, Attacks that are ridiculously strong. Flying abilities at level 8, like normal druids. Swimming abilities at level 4. The circle forms power break the druid and make them the frontliner and the damage dealer and the beast of the fighting field and the wild. It's great. This is 10 out of 10. I wish I could give an 11 out of 10, but I can't. So 10 out of 10 for circle forms. Then they get their Primal Strike at level 6. This means that their attacks count as magical for the purposes of overcoming resistances and immunities. So if a creature is immune to normal piercing, slashing, and bludgeoning, now the druid can hit them with their claws and teeth and tail and anything else to normal effect. This is really handy. Not every creature is going to have this, but... When it comes up, it's a huge pain to be dealing half damage, and the Moon Druid just doesn't care at level 6, so 9 out of 10 for Primal Strike. Now, one trouble about transforming into beasts is that as the higher levels of play, it kind of tails off a little bit as to how powerful they can be. But the Moon Druid has an answer for that, too, at level 10. Normally, they'd be able to transform into CR3 creatures, but now they get Elemental Wild Shape. They can use both uses of their wild shape, two uses of it, instead of one, and transform into elementals. Specifically, 
air, earth, fire, and water elementals. They can't transform into any elemental creature. It is the four specifically from the, the monster manual. But oh man, these are CR5 creatures with crazy powers. The ability to go underwater and engulf enemies, the ability to burrow, the ability to fly, the ability to do crazy damage. Elementals are really strong. And at level 10, transforming into one, just, again, breaks the game and makes you into possibly the most powerful creature on the battlefield. This is 10 out of 10. And again, I'd give it an 11 out of 10 if I could. I can't, so 10 out of 10. Then finally, at level 14, they get the Thousand Forms power. This gives them the spell Alter Self as a cantrip. They can cast it at will. They can just change their body to have claws and teeth and a tail and other powerful weapons that they can kind of summon. And this isn't a wild shape thing. This They can just do this as a druid, whatever race they are. They can become bestial and become combat ready. I mean, and it's at will. This is a high level spell that normally is like comes on in the mid game and burns a heavy spell slot, but now it's just whenever they want. 10 out of 10. Like, this is fantastic. And that's what they got. So, this is a 10 out of 10 subclass. This is a broken subclass. This subclass is possibly the most powerful in the entire game. Like, this isn't just the most powerful druid. This makes the fighter and the barbarian wet their pants. This thing has got magical strikes the same time the monk gets it. This is the kind of thing that genuinely you can, when you wild shape, you get new health and you get new speed and you get like, who needs to heal the druid when they've got a hundred extra hit points sitting in their bank from wild shaping into a powerful animal? Like you can't, it's hard to beat this thing. When you've got a circle in the moon druid in the party, Everyone else kind of feels like the backup, and it is wonderful to play. It's even great to DM for, because you get to just throw stuff at them and see what they'll do. It's great. So 10 out of 10 for the Moon Druid. Highly recommend. This has been the Relaxed Fantasy Review. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe down below, and keep your eyes open for more subclass reviews coming down the line very soon. Have a good one, my friends.